thanks for your time. Um, how's it settling? Uh, yeah, it's been good. It was a it was a pretty big change initially, um, but good to be uh, good to be playing matches. You know, it's the sort of the best way to know, get to know your teammates is to play alongside them. I think so. Really happy that the matches have started. What's different about this footy club to your old one? Um, oh look. I'm sure every football club differs, if, you know, in, in, in varying ways. Um, look, they've got a few different philosophies on football and training and everything, and it, it's been really refreshing having spent eight years in the one system to uh, to have a complete change. So, I'm, you know, it's really uh, re-energised me. Yeah, what, what's that like uh, walking through the doors of the new football club? Yeah, it's um, you know, it's it can be quite intimidating. I think you know, I've I've walked into a place where there's a lot of Premiership players, a lot of guys who've had a lot of success, um, you know, even from a young age. Um, so you know, it was it was quite difficult to get used to at the start, I suppose. But you know, I was I was really excited and, and positive it was the right thing for me to do. Why did you think it was time to make that change? Um, oh look, I think it was a pretty mutual decision between myself and the club. Um, the club sort of I think felt it probably needed to to you know go in a bit of a different direction with with the way they structured the team um, with Richmond and that, and and I felt I needed yeah probably a, a fresh set of eyes teaching me and and judging my performance and that sort of thing and uh, and a bit of a. Yeah, a bit of different personnel around me, just to, just to, as I said, to re-energise me. Were you frustrated in the end? Um, oh, look, probably the club was pretty flush, frustrated last year, Richmond, just given, you know, probably didn't receive the success it, you know, it thought it was, it thought it was going to have. Um, so I think, you know, if you went around and asked everyone, there was a fair bit of frustration. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't necessarily just you personally. It was oh no, I don't think so. I think you know, and you know, they they've made some some changes that they they saw fit, and um, you know, I'm sure they're back on the right track now. So if they were a frustrating environment, what's it like coming in here, a club that has had so much success in recent history? Um, oh, look, at the end of the day, the, you know, Hawthorne has have, had a lot of success, but they weren't successful last year. You know, there's, there's a real determination this year about, about getting back up to the top. Um, it's driven by a lot of the younger players who, you know, haven't had any of that success themselves, who have, you know, maybe sat in the stands and watched the grand finals. Um, so, look, I mean, is, you know, there's... It's a different football club, and you know they've, they've faced different challenges over the time. But um, certainly, the, you know every football club's going for the same goal. Getting out on the park and actually having a kick, which you get to do in the preseason, are you, are you actually kind of happy and, and feeling really positive that you've had a, a positive start? Um, yeah, look, you know, I've put I've put together a few really good months of training. I haven't missed a beat, um, and then. To be able to walk in and, and play the first two JLT matches has been positive. Just to get used to my teammates, the new game style, that sort of thing. Um, it's it's the best way to you know to get closer relationships football wise and off the field as well. And do you feel like you almost have to earn respect, particularly when you're playing alongside players that have got so many premierships there now? Yeah, particularly. I mean, look, at the end of the day, you walk into any new environment, and they're only going to judge you off off what they see from that time forward. And um, you know, I've, you know, I've made sure that I've, you know, I've really put in a good pre-season. I've done everything I can in my power so far to, um, to set myself up for good performances to fit into the team. Um, and look, you know, we've played two matches. It's a long season, and, and we've got another one in two weeks' time that, you know, hopefully I'm able to build on another performance. I know Clarko's been away, and you know, we're not into the season proper yet. But how does he kind of differ to Dimmer? Um, well, at the end of the day, I think Dimmer did pretty much all his coaching under Clarko. Yeah. So. Look, there's probably some similarities. Um, Dim has certainly got his own style. Every coach has their own style. Um, but at the end of the day, I think the best coaches are the ones that are, you know, obviously have the football knowledge, but also have good relationships with the players and manage the people really well. And I don't think there's many, there's too many senior AFL coaches that, that don't do that. Um, is footy fun at all? Um, oh, yeah. I mean, look, clearly when you're in a successful environment, it is fun. You know, we had some, some great years at Richmond, um, when we were playing finals and winning 15 games a year, and it, you know, it was a lot of fun. Last year was a really tough year for the club, um, and Hawthorne's had sort of a period of su sustained, uh, sustained success. Um, look, they, I think, given there was, it's been a much older club, Hawthorne, that they really do focus probably on making sure that there is either fun or variety in the program to um, to keep everyone fresh. Given that, you know, over the years Hawthorne's managed to play deep into September, so it's certainly an element of football that's that's important. It's to to keep it. And what have you been told about round one and, and, and beyond, or is it still kind of you've got to get through the preseason for your exact role? And yeah, I, I mean, look, uh, we haven't even mentioned really internally round one. You know, it's, we've had three games here to, to get get what we can right as a team. Um, you know, we're, there's still a fair few spots that are that are really up for grabs, particularly from from guys who've been fringe players in the past that are, that have had really solid preseasons. Um, 
So look, you can't take anything for granted, really, anyone. So I mean, I'm me and and all my teammates are all looking forward to JLT3 and, and another opportunity to to put forward a case personally, uh, individually, but also as a team and and play the footy that we want to we want to sustain throughout the year. And finally, boxing. I know that uh, you like having a bit of a spar at Tigerland. Have you found some new opponents in the <laughs> over there? Um, yeah, we do do a bit of boxing here, sort of once or once or twice a week, which is which is really good fun. Not a whole lot of sparring, but a lot of uh, a lot of fitness work. So it's just something different to uh, you know to work hard and, and it's not running around the around the boundary line. We sort of thought if you ma had a match up with Cyril, we thought that might, uh, <laughs> might have been an interesting. interesting Jesus, <laughs> I'm probably out of his weight division a bit, but I, I think he'd, he'd be pretty quick. But although I do weigh probably about 30 kilos heavier. <laughs>